connection to oneness. We are multi-sensory beings. We are human beings. We are all connected by an automatic flow, a pure energy. And so the wonder is, how do we get the connection to oneness? Well, when we do what brings joy to our lives, when we just be the energy of joy, then eventually we get into the automatic flow as the body, the soul and the brain align itself. Here's some quick little tips on getting into that connection. For your body wants unconditional love because it wants to clear the negativity that we've absorbed or the lessons that's in the aura. So basically, just I love myself, I love myself, I love myself, I'm mentioned ten times, and I am peace, will bring the alignment of the body and the soul together. That is a simple way. Anything that comes up, it's just the body releasing. So put it in an imaginary box. Any thoughts, any feelings on the body may be a programming, so we need to trace it back or look into where it's come from, where that vibration is that's causing your body. It could be trapped energy or negativity so just imagine the flow of the unconditional love through the body will neutralize any negativity and bring balance to the body that is one way to become the oneness once more then the brain what we can do with the brain is just so then we come to the brain the brain is connected to the body and so when the body is feeling too much negativity it sends a message to the brain so the brain tries to release this in thoughts it's also whatever ideas and thoughts you have in your aura the brain will will deal with so sometimes what I do is to try and get the brain in just the connection uh, to the oneness I say brain focus on nothing that's part of everything this then aligns the brain back to the connection but if the brain is thinking of things or you, you know items are, are coming to the mind it could be that it's a part of a releasement and this is where putting it into a box really helps so don't the brain is only it's not trying to distract you it would love to be in the connection so it could show you all the different connections it's it's a it's a it's a like a machine it's like a computer it's got so much information in there that it wants to share with you but often we 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 try and dismiss our brain and so we do it's like a well-oiled cog machine do you know what i mean it needs all the parts to make it complete and this is when you understand that the body and the mind and the soul need to be all linked together because otherwise they all start to fight each other to, to get information through to you to help you on your journey and it can't do it and it can do it when it's all aligned and the way to get aligned as I say is to put love into the body um, to give a, even the brain a job to do like bring peace to your life or focus on nothing that's part of everything but don't be mad when you get information that's, that is not flowing because that's just part of the releasement of the body. You've got to understand that everything is connected and everything is relative to understanding. When you understand that you're coming to an end of a road and, and um, your brain will just show you the other options, it might not, some of the options might not feel right to you. But it stops you from focusing just on the brick wall that's at the end of the road that you can't go any further. And so you keep focusing on that brick wall. And so you're not able to, to go in a new direction because, oh, I've got to be positive. Or, you know, well, you're not going to get through the brick wall <laughs> unless you find a way to climb over it or one thing or another. But this is what I'm saying to you. Everything is relative. Everything is needed for the journey. It's our attachments to, to what it is, it's what we feed, it's what we, we think about, it's what our perception is that makes it what it is. It's our vibration, our connection to our vibration that we experience. 
So then the soul is just guiding us. It, you, you'll get moments where it'll be odd things of go and see a friend or go and do this or da da da. And then the brain kicks in and sh it goes, oh, wicked. We're part of the connection again. And it, it gives us all the different scenarios and, and what will happen. And, and because we're in that vibration of like, or that vibration of, of, of suddenly fear and doubt and worries, we don't take on board that the initial message was the automatic flow to just do it. And so to get connected, you must have your mind, your body and your soul to become one. And it also needs a bit of patience as well. Because they will align when they align. And so the more you prepare your vessel for it um, by meditation and cleansing, by becoming one with yourself, then you're allowing the automatic flow of the mind, the body, and the soul. It is then you'll see the new world, which isn't just part of the old world, but you won't be so caught up in, in stuff that doesn't matter anymore. Money and lack, it's, all just, it's just, just all energy, it's all part of the teachings. I speak to so many people about money and, and um, they're worried about bills, which is then the vibration you're putting out, so you create more lack. Uh, when they have money, they don't like to keep it because it, or they hold on to it too much. You see, everything is relative, so you have to have the flow in and out. And you can increase this. You can realize that when you become the automatic flow, and when we become oneness with yourself, um, you then are limitless. You're part of everything. So use all your senses. Now this is a little trick that I, I use. It's very good getting back to the moment because the moment gives you true perspective of what's going on. But remember, the past and the, pre and the future are part of the connection of your brain. They're also showing you what can be and what can't be or what happened or whatever. So don't dismiss them and try and spend, spend all your time in the moment. Yes, for altering purposes, yeah, get to the moment because the, the, what you're feeling and the energy you are in that moment will, will make for the next moment. And so understand that. But just relax. Chill. It doesn't matter whatever part you play. As long as you're part of the oneness, then you're automatically flowing, you're automatically igniting others, you're automatically planting seeds. And if some people do not want to, to join in that experience, well, that's their loss. But they will be ignited to go and find somebody else to ignite them as well, or to relate to, or to see the bigger picture, to why they're not the oneness. So all you have to do is get connected. Use your senses. This is a good way. And don't don't attach um, the things that you want to be with things. So, for example, if you want to be unconditional love, get back to when you felt love. And what I mean by that, be part of love, be the love. All right. So, enjoy being in love, um, seeing what love will create in your life, seeing that you'll be connecting in oneness once more, seeing the bigger picture to to be in love, how it will help your life and your people around you as they enjoy the the love. This is the secret. It's it's using it's creating, it's sharing, it's it's you know, and you can do all that by just being one with yourself. Connecting to the oneness within you. Next to your heart is this beautiful energy that's part of everything. And so that's why I always say follow your heart because the pure energy is next to your heart. That's part of everything. So oneness is, is certainly is a cure. Because when you get into the oneness, and when you enjoy life, and when you're flowing, you know, then the other stuff doesn't matter. Even problems become um, scenarios where you can laugh about how you maybe done something silly, or or you didn't you know didn't go over that hurdle properly, and but later on. It's part of the learning. It's part of helped you on your journey to to create memories and and then to keep you flowing and keep you automatic flowing. Okay, I hope this has helped.